Hey Internet, today we're going to be talking about creating a ebbing, flowing, and changing city ambience. So our goal is to make it so that we can change the amount of traffic that we hear as part of this ambience. So it can be more or less intense feeling and sounding from both a there's just more content and more of the frequency spectrum is used up as well as um, hearing more specific events within it, such as cars going by and things like that. So I have FMOD pulled up and we'll show you a successful version of this event and then we'll recreate it ourselves. So let's hop in. All right, so implementing and creating an ambience using FMOD that has a changing intensity. So it kind of ebbs and flows with gameplay or where you are within a certain area or if certain activity changes. Um, here's an example of the event that we are going to replicate and let's see how this thing functions. So when I hit play, we can hear that there's kind of a base layer of just city traffic that's there. And as I change this parameter, the ambience of the city becomes more intense. And that's interesting and effective because not only does it fill out the frequency spectrum, we get some more mids and some highs in there for that base layer, but then we begin to hear more actual movement and specific moments of cars driving by and horns getting honked and all that sort of stuff. Just makes it feel like it's more intense and there's more activity going on. So let's go ahead and replicate that. I'm gonna start it by creating a new 2D event because we want it to be something that we just hear that is ever present. It doesn't um, just stay in one specific point uh, in, in our level, in, in this case, in the way that we're implementing it. So ambience, timeline, scatter, copy. Right? And I'll just assign it to a bank. All right, first thing is to create three different audio tracks um, for all the different layers that we're putting together. I've already got the first one here. I'll call this one bass. Then I'll create another audio track added intensity and then one last one for one shots or actually I'll I'll call this scatter one shots all right now it's a matter of importing our audio files that we want to use so traffic base I'll just add that there city added intensity I will add here and in scatter one shots I will add a scatterer instrument. And the default settings for this are appropriate for um, our purposes today. If we wanted, I could go into a lot of specifics in terms of all the settings down here on the scatterer and really making them specific to what we need. For today, I'm just gonna tweak some things just a little bit. But to move forward with the scatter instrument, I'm gonna select all of these audio files here that I want included in it and drag them into the playlist. And then the only thing that I'm going to do in this instance is just add some pitch and loudness or volume randomization. So I'm going to right click this, add modulation, random, and I'm going to do uh, maybe about like two. So you can see that little area here shows you um, the possible amount of settings that it will end up being when it's actually played back. So it's gonna center around zero and I can move that either direction I want, but it's gonna end up when it's played back being anywhere between there and there. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing for volume, modulation, random, and I'm gonna do about three here. So it's obviously not gonna go higher than zero on its own, but it'll play back anywhere between minus three decibels all the way up to our highest setting, somewhere in there. All right, so when I play this back on its own, you'll see that it's randomly selecting these and spawning them with this interval. Going into all the specifics of the scatterer could be a whole nother video. Perhaps I'll do it in the future. All right, so um, let's go ahead and make it so we can achieve the desired intensity and change it with a parameter. 
So for bass, we don't want that to be nearly as loud as when we have a lot of things going on. So I'm just gonna set this to about negative 17, and it's just always gonna be there as that layer. For added intensity and scatter one shots, however, I'm going to change their loudness depending on a parameter. So I'm going to hit plus, and I've already got a parameter created traffic level. If you needed to create a parameter yourself, you can hit new parameter, and then enter the parameter name, and enter a range of numbers, and set an initial value. But since I've already got it created, traffic level. For bass, I don't want it to change at all depending on traffic level, but added intensity and scatter one shots, I definitely do. So I'm gonna hit add automation, and I want this added intensity to reach about, uh, let's say negative eight, right around there. And when we get up to something really high, let's bring it all the way up to negative three decibels, if it will let me, oh, come on, just let me get the three. All right, I gave in and used control. Oh, that's another quick thing. If you want to get very precise in your loudness, just hold control and it'll go by tenths of a decibel as opposed to a whole decibel. And I'm gonna do a similar thing for one shots as well. I'm going to add automation and I'm going to have this hit zero right around the same time. However, I'm going to let this get significantly louder all the way up there. And then I will do that. So now when I play back, you'll see the loudness of all these tracks changes depending on the automation that I've put into uh, the tracks for all of them. So let's play it back and listen to what we got. Oop, I forgot to do one thing. Definitely need to loop the region right here, otherwise it will uh, continue playing and our ambience will just suddenly stop, which is not good. So um, let's try this again. So there's our base layer. We can hear the city, but it doesn't really sound that intense. And as we raise our parameter, we should hear more of this added intensity, which fills out the frequency spectrum and lets us hear more of these one shots. And I'm just going to mute all of these so you can hear what they're adding to it. All right, so there we go. We've got an ambience that we can ebb and flow based off of a parameter, make it seem more or less intense. If you have any questions on this, feel free to throw them in the comments. And if you'd like some game, audio, music, sound design, implementation, goodness in your inbox every once in a while, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like some free sound effects and music, there should be a link in the description of this video as well. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out unlockaudio.com.